So I keep believing this team. I keep trusting the, the process and I keep believing that this team will, you know, keep going and pushing and, and we'll turn up for each other. I keep believing that this team will remain in a contest when they were in the contest for the first 20 minutes against a team like Storm in Melbourne, which not many teams can do, but we, we maintain our opportunities in the first half to still win the game. But we clock off yet again. We don't complete for 80 minutes. We don't try enough hard. We don't try hard enough and don't compete hard enough in, in general. And the team itself is playing embarrassing. It's playing fucking putrid. Honestly, in a game like that, where we were up 6-4 and, you know, we're literally going to go into the halftime with the lead, which I was confident about. I was literally on my live stream. I was like, merely going to go into the halftime sheds at 6-4, you'd, you'd think. But thanks to some bad defence in the middle, and our middles were shocking yet again, no effort, P-hard P size, you know, brains and hearts have got. Um, yeah, not good enough. But bad, bad defence... And that try run in half time through Hughes should never have ha never have happened. So at half time, ten six, yep, yeah, okay. Still was confident, still was confident that we get the job done. But second half to I guess fall as low as we did, like you're sitting that many points in the second half, and to just give up and not play enough footy, and not play with actual heart, it's it's actually frustrating to see us not play with actual heart anymore. Because what happened back early in the season, what happened from March to April, we were playing footy like I've never seen us play before. It's footy that, you know, I was really impressed with, and it's footy that we actually play with heart with and actually tried in. But now it seems like we've declined ever since. It seems like we have a good win, a bad win, a good win, a shit week, and a good week. I don't understand what it, what it is. Like, what's the inconsistency of this club? But as for this game, as for this fucking game, I know that I know the year's over. I, I, I've ridden off this year. I know it's over. But that's not an, an excuse to be leading 6-4 with about 10 minutes to go to half time and to just cock off and not defend. And seriously, I hate calling out players, but I might have to do it tonight because they need to play better and I'm sick of it. I'm fucking over it. I'm, honestly, the players need to be held accountable. It's not Seabold. He is not the issue. People are going to use Seabold as a scapegoat every time now because of a loss like this, okay? Seabold will, will cop it, and and the fans will continue to do, to do that because of what he's done at Broncos and other stuff as well. It's unfair, it's unwarranted, and it's not needed, okay? So Seabold is not the fault at he. He's not the fault tonight. It's the players because the players should be playing a lot more consistent, they should be playing for each other. They should be playing footy that was shown at the start of the year with gr gritty defence and actually good good attack. But it seems like now players have just sort of, have sort of gone on early holiday. They've clocked off. They're not showing enough heart, enough heart, and I don't understand why. You know. You know, it, it seems like we're declining every week. Like it seems like there's one bad decision every week we make, and then yet yeah, the whole team falls. And seriously, as a Manly fan that tries very hard every week to go ahead and watch the watch the game, well, watch the team play every week at a game, and to just try as hard as I can to be optimistic that these boys will turn up for each other, it hurts me, and I expect better. I expect a lot better. You know, I don't know, I don't know why the players are not putting in for. It's ridiculous. You know, I'm just sick of it because I never came into a season more confident than what I did for this one. But now the players are just clocking off and not playing for each other. It makes me wonder, hmm, you know, the players, are, are they really committed to the Maroon and White? Are they really committed to donning the Maroon and White full time? No, they're not. A few of them might be, but no, they're not. The half the team. It's actually ridiculous that they're playing this bad now. And so well at Tom's out. That's not, not, not an excuse. We've played well with Tom, without Tom many times before. But to see how we've, we've played recently, even with him in, in the team, it's putrid. It's fucking disgusting. You know, you know, they need to do a lot better for the fans and, and, the, and the supporters. It's really, really not good enough. You know, it's, it's in tonight's game. I don't know how many times guys like Tui Pilotu, um... Uh, Vega made some bad errors too, but the wingers and, 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 the, and the forward pack, I don't know how many times they did not make an actual tackle attempt. They seem to just use their arms and they seem to just not try hard enough to, I guess, engage defenders to tackle and they just did not really stick and stay. And I hate talking about players. I hate talking about it because I want to try not give criticisms to the players anymore, but there's a few that just don't try hard enough in my opinion. And I'll just say this, the forward pack, the forward pack was really lazy. 
I think Kepi and Aloye had some bad moments, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, as I said, the wingers, Vega and Tupelodu need to stay on the wing and, you know, not get caught out, but they did. But, you know, instead of maybe just saying particular things about the players, because there were some good players tonight, like Harper played well. I was really impressed with Morgan Harper. He played well. So credit to Morgan. Uh, Woods played well, surprisingly, and I was happy for Woods. You know, he did well. Um, Garrick was good at fullback, and maybe he's our long-term fullback uh, backup solution going forward. But unless we can land Roger Tuovasashek immediately, Garrick's our long-term option at fullback for um, being in the backup for Turbo. And DCE. Now, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something about DCE right now. Without DCE, this team would be fucked. This team would be fucked. And sitting bottom of the table with the Tigers and the Dragons, this team would be absolutely fucked up if they didn't have DCE. And DCE is a player that turns up for his team every week. And you know what? After winning the series for Queensland on Wednesday night, he did not have to get back up for this game. He did not have to. He did not have to fly down to Melbourne and play tonight. But because he's the captain and because he's such a professional, what he does, you know, he still is committed to the, the team and the players. And you know what? I feel sorry for Daly Cherry even sometimes because he has to walk into a bunch of uncommitted players, players that don't play with any heart and have no self discipline, which is the worst part about tonight. The discipline was shocking. And don't get me started on a few of our players. You know, not trying hard and not you know. Could, Seeking to a pass, first of all. And, you know, if players really, really care for DCE and, and, the, and the captain he is, then we should be playing a lot better. But clearly, there's not enough respect for Cherry Evans and there's not enough respect for the Maroon and White. So I hope at the end of the year, because I know I know a year, a year's over now, I'm giving up in 2023, but I hope when the season's over, there's a massive clean out because there's a dead wood in that team that has to go. There's plenty of players that have to go and need to be held more accountable for the jersey. And if they're not held more accountable for the jersey, then fuck them off right now. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to keep talking about players that you know play for the club that don't do anything. So that's that's the biggest issue for me. But you know what? I feel so sorry for Cherry Evans. I feel so sorry for the players that actually want to have a go. Garrick has a go every week. He's such a committed athlete, and I you know really love Garrick and his effort. But no one can follow his effort, unfortunately. <clears throat> it seemed like at times Croker was playing with half a fucking nut because he got kneed by it got kneed in the nuts by Aaron Penne. But what did Croker do? He still played on with barely one nut. And the players don't have two and they don't even do anything. And they don't even give that same effort that what Croker does every week. So, you know, the players yeah, yeah, it's it's not a coaching issue. Maybe maybe some of it is, but the play the players have to be held more accountable in my opinion. <sighs> yeah, so Obviously, I'm, I'm really angry at the moment, and I would like to say a bit more, but yeah, I think um, this review is best it shuts off now because I am pretty over the the, um, the bullshit that we've been dishing up. It's not first grade standard. It's like what, what the West Tigers and the fucking Dragons would dish up every week, not what Manly would do. And I'm going to a game in a couple of weeks' time, Manly Warriors in New Zealand, and I'm looking forward to going because I'm a passionate fan that wants to go and watch my team play every week. And this, and this tonight's game was the last ever game I'll be missing for the rest of the year. So all the other remaining games for the year I'll be going to. And will it be hard to go sometimes if this team continues to play the way it does? Yeah, it will be because I expect a loss every week now if we play like this. But I'll keep supporting my team. I'll keep supporting them. I'll keep turning up and putting money into the club and the merchandise and, and keep being a good member and a good supporter of the club. But, you know, it sucks to see that there's, there's some, so many players that don't care and only are there for a paycheck, I feel like, and are there to have an early holiday. It's not on. I'm sick of it. Like, pull your fucking fingers out of your fucking asses and play footy! I'm sick of it. I'm fucking over it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sick of seeing so many uncommitted players in our club. It's not good enough, and I'm, yeah, I'm over it. I'm over it. So hopefully in the off-season, there's some changes, and there has to be some players that go, that have to go, and hopefully we, we recruit better, because I think we need a, a, dra a drastic change. So that's that. But anyway, instead of getting that angry, I'm just going to leave it tonight. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And, um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm upset, very upset.